Y'all, this is how you do a handicap burnout. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm um, just proud to announce that I'm going to be doing some future videos with Noah Williams. We have lots of awesome content coming out for you guys, so stay tuned. But for now, this video is going to be about Noah and his life-changing story. Um, other than that, enjoy. <laughs> I've lived in Aurora 18 years, my whole life. <laughs> I was coming home after school with my sister and on 225, and I was between the Alameda and Mississippi exit. Traffic kind of came to a sudden stop. I wasn't able to stop in time, so I went over into the emergency lane um, where I came to a full stop. And then later on, a few seconds later, Simai came by and just kind of barreled into the back of me and just been hard ever since. Having something in, such as legs is something you take for granted every day. And then when you lose them, it, it sucks. I mean, there's so much you're not able to do. I spent six and a half months in the hospital doing rehabilitation at Craig and then two weeks at the ICU at Aurora South. When I was down, I got just a card from Pickens in general and everybody was wishing me the best, trying to get me to come back right away. I mean, it's one of the most supportive schools I've been to. I mean, I love coming over here. My name is Jeff Oliver. I'm a welding instructor here at Pickens Tech. Well, how I met Noah is last year he was a student of mine, and it was around this time last year, actually. Uh, we, built a, we built a door for uh, Hoffman Heights Fire Department so that they can practice breaking in a door with the deadbolt and all that other stuff. Noah was a big part of that project. He, he was walking then, certainly. Uh, and then right after, right around break time, he got rear-ended by that semi-truck and he lost everything from his, basically his chest down. I went to the hospital a few times and visited him and gave him a, the picture of us all dropping off that prop door at the fire department in front of the firehouse. Having Jeff as an instructor, he just kept me going, you know. Last year he made me fall in love with welding and then after my accident and everything, you know, everything was kind of harder. The things I did love about welding, I couldn't do anymore. Jeff kind of brought all that passion back to welding, you know, doing TIG welding, working on aluminum, and just doing stuff that I know I can do. He's kind of pushed on me, and it helps me, you know, stay happy, I guess. <laughs> Here's a kid that has this open mind that just wants to learn and don't want to be stopped with his disability. When he addressed me and told me he really wanted to come back into welding, he didn't want to give up on it. I, uh, it just made me reflect, how can, how can I help make that happen? He, he deserves all that. He's such a likable young man. I mean, he, he has something that you just gravitate towards with him. You know what? Life lessons are about getting back on the horse and still riding. You know, because we're all going to get knocked down and we all need to get back up and keep doing it. And uh, I think that would probably be the, one of the lessons you could take from this. Jeff kind of came to me one day out of nowhere and was like, well, I got a project for you. Okay. And he said, uh, we're going to do wheelchair fencing. And there's these stands that we're making and you roll into them, they lock your chair down. And these guys just go at it with the sword, just back and forth. And it's, it's really cool. I mean, after we're done, we're going to get into the stands and see what happens. I told Jeff to grab the other wheelchair from the nurse so I can kick his butt in it. But uh, we'll see what happens. As far as the future goes, I'm hoping to be an instructor here. Hopefully, you know, maybe there's a few people I inspire in chairs to come and try it and 
I can give them pointers and everything. 